What's going on, hunters? What's going on? You won't believe what the news update just brought us, right? We got something called Drift Smelton. Essentially, it lets you upgrade your armor, armor to add random skills. So if you're missing a, a, a certain amount of skills to your armor, um, you can essentially try to complete your set the best way possible. You know, get things like attack up, affinity. Essentially, if you have like, if you're an archer, like on my bow set, even though it's only a fire bow, I have fire five and focus four. It's probably possible to have focus five and fire five now. You can complete all your sets. You can hold up to nine drift stones in your inventory. Damn, that's crazy. And it tells you exactly what drift stones add what. So you obviously you get the crimson from the ooh, ooh, look at that. Peak performance, rising tides. So at least there's special skills you can focus on. Oh, you can mix and match all your favorite sets. Add maybe a thunder or a fire attack to something that you oh gosh. Like I can add if I'm using a lock on on only one piece like my black diablos that i can oh there's so many possibilities i'm sorry i'm just getting all my words mixed up let me let me get myself straight so situated and and we're gonna have an azure rathlos and a pink raytheon event at the end of this week but essentially speaking i'm gonna give you guys an example yeah this is just oof oof I only use my black Diablos waist on two sets and it comes with lock on. I can, I can potentially add, oh, did I just, oh, I guess I gotta go back to news. Yeah, I can potentially add crit eye to all my sets or special boost because I have special boost or better weakness exploit. Yep, 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 yep. Or burst because I have, oh, yeah, on my Raytheon gloves, I only have burst level two. I can make it burst level three. Mm, so many possibilities. The ability to customize your sets, and now you don't, so you can make more effective tools of defeating monsters. Man, this guy is going home. It's like he don't want me to get my first drift on. Oop, I haven't gotten one. Oof. Oh, what's the drop rate? Okay, let me go back to this. Is drag receiving on the list? Because it tells you which monsters drop drop what. I kind of want the burst. So, Toby, great. Is an ogre, great girls. Yeah. And also want a weakness exploit or add special boost. I'm gonna put additional special boost on the pink Raytheon legs. So I will be going after those regular monsters. Yeah, great dragons could have given me an Azor. This guy, 
This guy is dirty. Hmm, did you just catch a regular leggy? Oh. Not sure what the drop rate is, guys, but I'll get one later. I'm almost done with stage two. Gotta get these thunderbugs after all. But yeah. Oh, you need to actually be grade eight to add a drift smelt slot. That's all right. Now it's very important to to make sure you get your armor to grade eight. Mm, I was actually on the way to do that, doing that anyway, because I wanted to be have more tank ability. But yeah, okay. This is good. So I will start be starting with the Raytheon gloves because I want that additional lock on. And I already have it at grade seven, so. Hmm. Rivering gem shards. My first grade eight armor piece. That's on my thunder set, no less. So it's very important that you pick which pieces you want to equip it to. So now I'm going to have to hunt more pink Rathians because I'm going to want to get this to grade eight as well. Since this is on almost every armor I used so I can get special boost. And having special boost level three and burst level three will make this set extremely powerful for me. And I would dare even say, I will can get, if I upgrade every single armor, cause I only use the TZ helmet on this. If I can get every single armor to grade eight, it's possible for me to have burst level five or special boost level five on this set but i can i only use tz on this so i can add burst to the tz helmet and i can add, a, add another burst to the kadachi waist and if i do that then i am going to have burst level five which will mean that i'll be getting a 30 percent attack boost on my dual blades or if I wanted, I can do um, a special level five and get a 30% attack boost when I do specials. But that's, uh, I'd rather get the attack boost on my dual blades. All right, so four hits. And I think it's only raw attack. So essentially, I'm do once I do four consecutive hits, I'm going to get an extra, is it three, 370? Doing some raw math in my head here. Mm-hmm. And you can all hold a hold up to nine. That's crazy. Anyway, guys, get out there, start drift smelting, do your thing. You know what I mean? You customize your armors. Cause now you can make oh you you can just make any ultimate sets you want. You know, that, that's one idea that I have for my thunder set. So burst level five, thunder attack level five, and special boost three. 
I don't have fire dual blades yet. But I only use the um, Anjanath helmet and uh, the Anjanath gloves on, on this. So I can essentially even add earplugs, but I don't know if I want to do that. Earplugs level five. So this one, I might be inclined to add more special boost, right? Because I'm going to have special boost level three coming from the Raytheon since I already do that. So I might add special boost to the Anjanath helmet and the Anjanath gloves. And maybe I'll add a special boost to the Diablos waist. And then special boost level five with fire attack level five. And if I want to be that guy, I can try to add more weakness exploit or guys, honestly, You can even add one fire attack to the Anjanath gloves, one fire attack to the Anjanath helmet, and I can replace this Azor Rathalos chest piece. No, I don't even need to add a one. I could just add one fire attack to because they're already two, two. I can add one fire attack to the Anjanath gloves. Obviously, it's going to be rolls. What you're getting is not guaranteed, right? Um, but if I can add one fire attack to the Anjanath gloves or helmet, then I don't need to wear the Rathalos chest piece anymore. I can put on the Anjanath uh, uh, chest piece and I get plus two fire attack automatically. Not, I mean, plus two special boost automatically. So now I can mix and mix and match my sets and I'll have special for fire attack for, and that'll save me some resources because I only have to up I'm interchange one piece okay, and I can keep my lock on on Diablos and I can focus on another skill maybe I can add more earplugs yeah I can add earplugs to the black Diablos <coughs> and then well because if my plan works and I get the special boost on the um, Raytheon legs then I can have special boost three on the legs, switch the Azor Rathalos chest piece out for the Anjanath chest piece. I'll have special five, fire attack five. And I will be phenomenal. And then I'll just have to probably figure out what other skills I want to do. Like I can add a weakness exploit to the Anjanath chest once I get it to grade eight. <laughs> right? So the first thing you want to do is find out which armor piece you want to focus on and get to grade eight. So for now, since I have this at grade seven, I'm using up my funds. I'm only going to try to get one of each piece to grade eight. Yeah, this is 12,000 zenny, but I got the money. So that'll be that. So I'm going to get that to fire oh, one of the fire additional fire piece. And I'll, I'll, I mean, again, I wanted more defense anyway. And same thing for here. I have. Yeah, I have water attack on this. That's water attack plus two. You have a water attack on the third. And I'm getting water attack from the Jaggers, right? So I don't have special boost on this, um, surprisingly. If I can put... Water attack. If I can get one water attack on each piece. Yeah, this is going to be a little... Oh, I can even start customizing part breakers. Yeah... Water attack is going to be more tricky, but if I can add a water attack to the Juratodos legs and the Juratodos chest, sorry, is it Juratodos? The Jagras legs and the Juratodos chest, then I can replace this arm piece and put back on the burst. Um, and I'll get burst three on my dual blades. 
All right, and then once I get burst through my dual blades, I can put on something else. I don't know what's going to be worth finding. I can change the waist for lock on. I can change the helmet. Oh, and I, there's an ogre helmet also gives me burst. So I can put that on and get burst four. So I can now put burst on multiple stats to get that damage increase. Or I, yeah, and I can all essentially also put burst on the coral puke puke helmet. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't because I got to get it to grade eight anyway. Anyway, guys, let me not rant on. Those were just upgraded armor set ideas. Um, let me know what you like in the uh, what you think in the comments. Let me know what your ideas are, you know, mixing match sets, because that's just what I could think of in the fly. And uh, yeah, I uh, guess we, uh, we're now incentivized to get our armors up to grade eight. Oh, but it's going to cost us a nice pretty penny. So anyway, get out there get yourself some <laughs> some of those stones right because um these monster skills are the best way to take down uh different types of monsters that's you know been 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 that you've been stuck on and uh yeah happy hunting so for me i'm going after pale drift stone and uh, amber drift stone that's my first ones but anyway yeah like i said happy hunting don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day, everyone.